Here we are, iPad in hand. Book is loaded on my Kindle. It is time to do the audio version of the Life Back. I'm super excited. Let's check out this studio. <laughs> so pumped up for the shootout with Shaq. Oh, <laughs> I had to get to work going. So there's a couple of moments where there's like a tiny stomach noise before a lot, like in the space, which okay, is why so we're hearing it. you can take it out? Yeah, I'm going to use that upward expansion they're talking about. It's okay. basically like gating it out to where when you start talking, it's going to open back up. So I don't think the ones that are before are a problem. I do have a couple marks that are in the middle of a line Great. that I need to look at. I'll redo those. So the, one of the first ones of those. D breasts. But because of being told to go bigger and the world's obsession with curves, I had them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a little squeak. I'll there. find that right there. Okay. Know more about the length of chapters. Is right. there any really daunting chapter that we should worry about, or are they no. generally pretty standard after two? Generally pretty standard after two. Okay. Then, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to... It is four. If you need to push through another 30 minutes, you think you'll get something, let's grab it. If, you, if you're if you not scared at the time that we, the, at the remainder of the work we have yeah. over the days we have, then let's call it. I'm not, because I feel like tomorrow I'll probably get in four or five chapters. I'll be completely fresh, rest. Remember, I did get up crazy. Yeah. You know, I slept like four yeah. hours to go to the airport at six today, in the yeah. morning, flew today. Ugh. Good Easy. night's sleep, good the breakfast tomorrow, stomach will be full, you know. All of that will make a big difference then. Because, you know, when you hear your stomach growling, it's the strangest thing. It throws you off. Yeah. Because you're, you you're hearing it. You know, should I stop? Did they hear that? Yeah. So I'm we'll, with let, you. we'll let that settle. I feel great about the rhythm that we got going. The Life Back takes you on a journey of five years of discovering myself, going through a very tumultuous situation, uh, being a shut-in, doing things that I'd never done, being still. And so revisiting that in the Life Back audio recording was an emotional roller coaster for me. Just remembering the things that we're so fortunate to kind of forget, but a reliving of it because the passion that you put into narrating your story also reminds you of the passion that you felt when you were going through it. So my favorite chapters are really when I start to discover minimalism, when I really realized that I was breaking habits in my life, when I realized how I had lived compared to how I wanted to live. So I would say minimalism was really like the fun like arc, okay, this is getting to be that fun part of my book where my life really started to balance out. The hardest parts to read were the truth and Russian Roulette. Those are two chapters where I had to face demons from my childhood and I had to face the people that were involved and I had to make a decision for the rest of my life if they were healthy relationships or not. And knowing that I walked away from my family in 2015 and I can remember, you know, going through the pandemic and thinking like, this is probably a time where my parents are going to reach out to me, right? And they didn't. And at the same time, as much as that hurt, for times, it also healed me because it made me realize that it just wasn't meant to be. What We're banging through stuff? chapters today. Yeah. This is a great part of the story. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny, like visualizing all of this stuff again because you really picture it when you're writing the book. And I do remember being in such awe of that courtroom, of the courthouse, because in California, there's not a lot of things that are old. 
Sure. Everything's stucco. There's been earthquakes that have taken down older buildings. Yeah. They demolished older buildings. Whereas in New York, there's still a lot of like really old buildings. And of mm-hmm. course in Europe. And so it was just so epic. But then I realized like, this is just a shit show. People come in here to cry. Like court sucks. I never want to, never, never want to go to court again. Yeah. Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so down? Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so down? Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so blue? I need a meal like you, uh, I need some just some friends and some jewelry. I'm trying to get like you, uh, sign me a deal like you, uh, form my whip like you, uh, give me a I'm trying to be lit like you, uh, flex on the ground like you, uh, show all my bands like you, uh, I talk to my friends, I talk to my family, they don't understand like you, uh, follow the plan like you, uh, I need some fans like you, uh, make them all stand like you, but I don't understand why I'm not like you. They say comparison is a thing for joy, but what I'm supposed to yeah. probably somewhere near three hours of which is about right because people have said this is a four or five hour read which was the goal so once it's condensed and cleaned up that's probably and i'm reading it slower than maybe somebody would um yes. we have, i have a mark anywhere that pacing needs to be sorted or at least paid special attention to there's a mark in there so okay. all that evidence will, all those edits will be cleaned up I am currently on a six-week travel bender. I get to go home tomorrow for nine days. In those nine days, I will make all of my own meals, and I will be preparing what I'm going to eat the next day, probably making some soups, some salads in advance, maybe some overnight oats, like the dreams of going to bed at the same time, waking up and going to the gym. But carefully threading the needle is always what I do, and this trip right here landed perfectly in between some other adventures that I had and knowing that this was a priority and knowing that it took me till 2020 to record the audiobook for the life when I released it in 2015 I did not want to get that far behind we just hit the one year anniversary of when the physical copies arrived of the life back so it was a priority and Kay and I knew that our schedules were gonna start to get even busier and busier. And this was the perfect time to come to Nashville, get away from the polar vortex that is New York City, and record this audiobook at Phoenix Studios. It is day three, and I am at chapter eight. I am so excited to read this portion because we are now on the arc where things start to really work out. If you read The Life Back, or if you're waiting to hear me narrate it in my sweet and sultry voice, you'll know that that first start to that book is like, but now I get to have some fun and share with you all the things I learned. Minimalism. back to AVM for the first time in 10 years and I was telling Kay everybody was so cool to me nobody was creepy everybody either talked about my podcast my book or sports Mm -hmm. and they were like we're so happy to engage with you again we of course want to stay on topic and it was like nobody tried to touch me for photos nobody was weird I was like this is amazing I've trained you to understand and more than half of them came up and said I'm so excited to watch your new journey like been such a great second act in your life that shows they're human there's yeah. good people out there that are still lonely they come here because it's like their comic con but yeah. for their favorite porn stars but yet i'll watch them post on social media my photos i'm fully dressed we stand side by side i grab their hand and put it here every other girl she's in pasties they're mm-hmm. touching her so they will do what they can with who they can yeah. but with me they will not Ooh. 
why? Because you built your brand. I would never do that. Completely rebranded and did the whole thing. And so even they, when I was fully engaged in the business, uh, I would sure. always tell everybody, "This is not a petting zoo." Okay. It's a fucking that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, well, that's that's boundaries and where you boundaries. set up. Boundaries. <laughs> really, just murder your thirst every day. All right. Check. 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 Can I you hear, hear you. Me? What right. do you? Seafood. It's the word. Big yikes. Um, so we're switching over to chapter eight here. Yep. Is this day three? Day three. This is day three, and we are at the final chapters. I have relived this journey for you so you can hear it and you can picture me just like reading it to you before you go to bed. Another awesome day. I love the studio. I'm all in it. See you soon. Here we are, we took a little time to get downtown in Nashville, shoot some photos, have some fun. It's not all reading on this audiobook tour, but it's a lot of reading and you are gonna love the finished product. Right now, we're gonna get out and do a little sightseeing before I finish off my last chapter and complete this mission. Let's go. Here we are, it is day four, the final day in the production of the audiobook for the life back. Me narrating my story for you. And I'm getting ready to go back in there and finish this thing off. See ya. Is it inappropriate to throw gang signs at the time-lapse camera? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Alright, got it. Okay. final stretch. Right now it is all about the intro, the dedication, the outro. So all chapters are recorded and I am getting ready to put these headphones on one last time and get this done so you can hear it. Well here I am just wrapping the recording of book two, The Life Back. Book one was a very different experience. First and foremost, did not have access to a studio because I decided to record the audio for the life in my closet during the pandemic. Locked in the closet that I padded myself sitting in between clothes with a remote producer and just the letter K, as opposed to having a producer for the life back in my ear in real time, able to make adjustments, not just upload a whole chapter to just letter K to find out I was clipping. This process from book two to book one was a totally different experience and I hope that you find the quality to be better because we really did wing it for that first time, but we got it out, we found an activity, it was something to do, but this was much different and it was a great experience at Phoenix Studios. I'm so thankful to my readers, to my supporters, to Phoenix Studios, Seeger, amazing, to Just Letter K. You all know I could not live without Just Letter K in my life. But for all of you out there who are a part of my world, I'm so happy to have you in my community. I'm so grateful for your inspiration to continue to try new things and put out new products for you. And I hope you enjoy the audio version of The Life Back.